January 2nd, 2014. Guys, this is uh, from yesterday, the earth-facing images from Lasco C2. This is the CME from the flare. Now, I'll show you a couple of images, but notice these two large objects there. Now, I don't think they uh, hit the sun, guys. I don't know if the flare was created by possibly some magnetic charge, but they were definitely illuminated or either blown back away from closer to the sun in this. But, uh, did, again, this was uh, January 1st at 1600 UTC. show you a couple things that are happening. This is also Earth-facing SDO images. And I'll show you today's. Now, check this out. This sunspot is getting scary. It's huge. I'm going to show you that also. Check it out. We're getting close to X-flare capabilities. Now, we have two sunspots that are leaving on the right side that are triple configurated. Now, in the middle, we have some smaller flares, but what's happening with these CMEs, we're getting these filament eruptions that are coming around and prominences that rise around and they touch a solar flare, I mean a, a sunspot, and are kicked off the surface of the sun. But this is uh, the new sunspot that's coming around. Now, it's, it is not triple configurated yet, but you see that small area around it. That's where you start picking up these, uh, getting all your different magnetic fields. This is huge. This is the largest one we've seen in a while. Remember, we had one a few months back, guys. But the sun was not quite as active as when that huge sunspot came around. It's 1944. Uh, it's just lit it, listed as beta, but notice at the top, beta, gamma, delta on 36 and uh, 34 that are going around that uh, east, uh, the right limb, which is good for us. What we got to watch for, though, is we're coming up on the I Sun debris trail. That starts. Today is the second. We've got about 10 days. We start entering that. And look at the power of the, the sun. And we're talking about different days in the past few weeks that the sun may have completely uh, done its magnetic pole reversal, the flip there. And that's what that does is indicate half of the uh, solar cycle. Now it's going to start the second half once it does that. And they say you have more intense flares during this reversal. And you can see there's been a tremendous amount of activity. Check that out. That is a strong blast. It's, it's a good thing that was not our facing. We could have had satellite damage. We are picking up uh, strong satellite re readings. Uh, the uh, K index out of Boulder is high tomorrow, up redlining. Check this out. This went back. I went back two days for this just to kind of give you an idea of what we're looking at. But see, as that big sunspot's coming around on the left, Look at all the magnetic lines of force. And here in the center, you're seeing these large filaments erupt. And that's where you're seeing that CME out the bottom left. Again, these are Earth-facing also from Solar Dynamics Observatory. Now, this is when that large prominence that we watched came around. And what happened, you saw it almost pull back into the sun. Watch it on the bottom left pull out. Bam, right into this huge sunspot that we're dealing with. And that's telling you that any other filaments that come near it don't stand a chance. So it's going to be coming around broadside. And we've got a lot of activity. You can see this is the X-ray flux. This is current out of Boulder. And look, guys, this is the, the uh, probabilities. Notice M is 75%. X is 30%. Normally, that's between 1 to 5. So they are looking for it and for a proton burst event at 10%. Now, if, if you notice that that 30%, uh, a lot of that comes <clears throat> from 1936, 15% of it, and then you got a 1% through your other flares. But it's a heads up on this, guys. Tomorrow I'm going to do a video talking about one of the next feast in the series that we're doing, and I want to talk about Mount Graham. I did a video last year about it, but it's getting time, and some of the world powers are really starting to watch this area. They're watching what's coming in from Mount Graham from the sky. And it, it's going back, guys. We talked about it on the radio show today. And uh, I have uh, on the website uh, Steve one of Steve Coyle's interviews with the Hagman brothers, a couple hours, but every minute of it's really interesting. And no matter how, if it sounds kind of far out, guys, I've researched a lot of this for the last two years and did, did videos on most of what they're talking about. And having seen the flying objects myself in Phoenix I know that the possibilities are there 
and I think they're spot on. And I know a lot about the different things. I know I've, I've studied the Bible and I've studied the different legends from around the world. But what they're saying is that the <clears throat> Vatican is getting set up, and they now have a Jesuit priest as the Pope. You know that. And the Jesuits were always the astronomers for the church. Now they're there, and you know they own their own observatory, Mount Graham, Arizona. And they in an observatory that is not the Vatican's, it's next to it, owned by the University of Arizona, and a couple of other people contribute to that, is where the actual Lucifer binocular infrared giant telescope is. It's not in the VAT observatory, but they have full access to it. But the word coming out, and this is from inside the Vatican, and inside and from the people that are running the observatories, that they're, they're preparing the earth through the new pope to welcome an alien savior that's going to introduce a new doctrine. Do not take that mark. We've been warned about the synagogue of Satan for a long time. But guys, watch that video. Start opening your mind so that your hearts do not fail you when you see these things come on this earth. Heads up. Be safe.